tasteless which at the same time makes your body more sensitive more sensitive to the plant that you are going to take it applies to probably all the plants it applies to ayahuasca as well if you are going to ayahuasca ceremony if you want to participate in ayahuasca ceremony it is advised that you should also get into this regime of this more simple food because if you do so you have a higher likelihood of have of having a more powerful ayahuasca ceremony so this is about the things that you eat there are other important things you should be avoid anything sexual you should avoid being with a woman you, in intense plants like Chiriksanango you cannot even see a woman supposedly if you see a woman during your dieta even unintentionally it can be very dangerous and you can die you should abstain from any sexual behavior no sex no masturbation no thinking about sex and this is also something that is one of the important rules when you diet a plant and when you take these shamanic plants you should be alone and live alone meanwhile your dieta continues so these are the basic rules that you have to commit to when you are dieting a shamanic plant such as in amazonian shamanism therefore back to the story 11 years ago i got into this dieta i isolated myself I submitted myself to this very simple very simple foods okay and I started drinking this 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 plant this water of Chiriksanango of the root of Chiriksanango and I started to drink it the plan was drink it every day for maybe like five days drink like a small small shot or something of that plant when I would drink it almost instantly or let's see after 15 minutes the physical effects that one experiences is you start feeling chilling sensation in your body you start feeling cold especially in your extremities hands feet a lot in your face a lot on your nose at least i'm talking from my own personal experience mouth lips you feel it chilly you feel it cold and at the same time you feel it like sedated it's like when you go to dentist and the dentist puts you anesthesia so you don't feel pain when when he's working on you you feel this kind of numbness right the same feeling you get when you drink this plant you feel this numbness in different parts of your body but again usually the same extremities and face and uh, and nose skin these are the physical sensations that you feel in my experience it actually feels quite pleasurable it feels calming it feels relaxing it feels good actually in my experience also it it affects you on the inner level on the emotional level making you feel more emotional more devotional this is my experience And this experience, this coldness, this chilliness, this numbness usually lasts for a few hours and then goes away. And uh, it goes away. However, it is likely that you start feeling also exhausted and very weak, weak or very weak afterwards. Now, I continued dieting this plant another day, another day. I felt those sensations, this chilliness, this coldness. However, I thought that I wanted to be more intense. I thought, is this all? I have heard that this plant, it kills, it heals you or it kills you. But I'm not experiencing something so strong as I have heard, as I have imagined. I'm just feeling some numbness, some chilliness, some nice little feelings okay i feel myself exhausted after i can sometimes barely like stand up 
I can't stand up, I, I can do things, but I feel more exhausted. So I said, I'm gonna drink more. And I started drinking more. I started drinking double doses. I started drinking triple doses. As the days went by, I started drinking more and more. More and more. I would have these sensations that I have told you about, these physical experiences. Uh, and I thought that this is all. Because I didn't know that actually when I would stop drinking the plant real experience would start kick in real <laughs> crazy stuff would start happening not when you are drinking the plant but after you drink the plant it's not like with ayahuasca with ayahuasca you can drink it and in a few and in an half an hour or one hour you start having the experience, hallucinations, you start having visions, you start vomiting and having all kinds of experiences. However, the experience lasts for a few hours, ayahuasca experience, and after that it's over. You go to sleep. It's over. The next day you are kind of recovering yourself because you feel exhausted. So I've thought that this is kind of similar with Chiriksanango as well. And this feeling of numbness, this coldness, this devotion this emotion i thought man i can handle more so that's the reason i started drinking much more in the end i drank like five times the dose that the shaman who gave me this chiriksanango told me i should i drank like five times bigger dose And when I stopped drinking it, and it was already after maybe like two weeks, and again it was the end of three weeks, 21 days. When I stopped drinking it, the next day I started feeling effects which I hadn't felt before. Which were effects of the change on my consciousness. I started feeling like tripping. I started feeling different, I started experiencing different kind of trips. Out of nowhere, I would feel myself as if I had drunk San Pedro, Wachuma. And I would have an experience that would remind me a bit that experience. And I would feel many things, many things. I don't want to make this video, it's already gonna be long video, okay? <laughs> I would have this experience for an hour, for a few hours, then it would fade away, I would come back to the more normal state of being. And in a few hours I would have another trip, but this time I would feel like I have drunk ayahuasca, a different master plant. And I would feel different experiences, and I would feel my consciousness also shifting. I would feel different. It would also last for some time, it would go away. Then I would feel like I have smoked weed without smoking any marijuana I would feel I, would, I started feeling different <clears throat> different states of consciousness okay that maybe I shouldn't associate them with the plants I have I have just mentioned however the experiences were kind of kind of similar to those and that was very interesting and also what was powerful, it was, those were quite powerful experiences. Like I would be really tripping. Now I've stopped drinking the plant. I've stopped drinking Chiriksanango like two days ago. And I'm tripping. I'm tripping throughout the day. 